we have just successfully created a new user using another command called add user. And this command is much more convenient for use as user add command because it has interactive prompts and you are able to set the working directory, password and other settings just in one command. Great, now let me demonstrate you how to change ownership for a specific file or directory. And let me create new file in home directory for this Bogdan user, but under root user account. Let's go back to root session, exit, and here now I am logged in as root user. And now let's create new file in the home slash Bogdan. Let's use the touch command, touch slash home slash Bogdan, and here will be file name 2.txt. File was created. Let's now list contents of the home Bogdan directory. Let's add here dash la options. And now I see new file 2.txt. But username and group are set to root because I have just created this file as root user. Now let's change to Bogdan user as u-bogdan. Let's clear terminal. And let's list contents of home directory here under Bogdan user. And now I still see here this 2.txt file that we have just created as root user. And in those columns you see this information, root and root. Now let's try to modify this file 2.txt under Bogdan's account. Let's use nano editor and type 2.txt as argument. And here you'll see that file 2.txt is unwritable. And that is due to ownership issue. Owner of this file is root. And of course, when you have a look at those permissions, you'll see that only owner of this file is able to write this file. Here you see this W. Other users that are members of this root group or other groups are not able to write this file. That's why we are not able to modify it. And in order to solve this problem, you are able either change permissions or change ownership of this file. This file is located in the home directory for Bogdan user. And logically, it's better to change ownership of this file because again, this file is located in the home directory for Bogdan user. Let's do that. For that, you need to use command chown, this one. Let's first have a look at help options for this command. Let's scroll a bit up to the beginning of this output and you'll see that this command is used for change of the owner and or group for specific file or files. And you'll see that first you need to specify options, if any. Afterwards, you need to specify new owner optionally and new group optionally. And afterwards comes file or files. Let's try that in action. Let's clear terminal and type chown. Next comes username we want to change ownership of the file to. It will be Bogdan. And next comes file name to.txt. Let's try to enter this command here under Bogdan's account. Enter. And of course, I see here error. Operation not permitted. Could you guess what is the reason for this error? Why I am not able to change ownership of this file under Bogdan's account? You are right. Answer is very simple. We are not able to modify this file under any other accounts except only root account. That's why I need to perform this action under root account and afterwards go back to Bogdan's account and then I will be able to modify this file as owner of this file. All right, let's go back to root account, exit, and let's type the same command, chown Bogdan, but now I need to enter full path to this uh, 2.txt file because now I'm the home directory for root user. So I am typing here slash home slash Bogdan slash 2.txt. And now let's verify whether ownership was changed. ls-la home Bogdan. And yes, I see that now owner of this file 2.txt is Bogdan. But group remained unchanged, still root. And that's probably not what you have expected. If you want to change group as well, you need to slightly modify this command. Let's go back to this command, chown Bogdan. And here, after colon, you need to specify group name. It will be Bogdan. Let's press enter and now let's verify whether something was changed here or not. And yes, now I see user and group equal to Bogdan, my username.
Let's now go back to Bogdan user, su-bogdan. And let's have a look at contents of home directory. And now I see correct ownership of this file to the txt. And of course, because now I'm owner of this file, I'm able to write this file, modify it. Let's try to modify it, nano to the txt, modified file. Let's save changes, control X, yes, enter. And now file was successfully changed. Let's have a look at contents of this file, cut to the txt. And yes, I see here contents modified file. That's how you are able to modify ownership for a specific file. In the same way, you are able to modify ownership for a specific directory. Let's quickly do that. And let's create a new directory here in home folder for Bogdan user. And let's do that again as root user. Let's go back to root account. And here let's create a new folder in home Bogdan. And let's name it um, TMP. And now if I list contents of home Bogdan, I'll see this new folder here and the owner is root and group is root as well. And let's create a new file in this TMP folder. Let's actually CD to this uh, TMP folder. I'll copy this folder name like so. And let's touch 3.txt and 4.txt. I'll create two new files here in TMP folder. Here they are. And of course, owner of those files is root. All right, let's now try to modify ownership for entire folder, TMP folder. Let's cd to home directory for root user and let's enter chown. Next comes Bogdan colon Bogdan and here will be path to this TMP folder slash home slash Bogdan and here will be TMP like so. Let's press enter and now let's list contents of the home Bogdan. And I'll see that owner of TMP folder was changed to Bogdan. But if I have a look at contents of the TMP folder, I'll still see owner root for both files 3.txt and 4.txt. And that means that I have just adjusted owner only of the folder directory TMP. And ownership of any included files or subdirectories was not changed. If you want to change also owner of the inner files, you need to use additional option. Let's have a look at the help for chown command, chown dash dash help. And scroll a bit up. And you'll find here option dash capital R or dash dash recursive. And with this option in place, you will be able to modify ownership of all inner files and directories. Let's try to use this option. Let's clear terminal and type chown. Next comes option dash R, capital R. Next, we will type a username and the group name we want to change ownership to. And here will be path to folder we want to change ownership. Here will be home, Bogdan, TMP, like so. Let's press enter. And now let's verify whether files ownership in this TMP folder was changed or not. Let me copy this path and ls dash la and paste copied path. And now I see that owner for those files 3.txt and 4.txt was correctly changed to Bogdan. And of course, if I go back to Bogdan's account, su Bogdan, and verify contents of a home directory and list files and folders in TMP folder, I'll see correct ownership everywhere. And that means that now I'm able to modify those files 3.txt or 4.txt. Let's try that quickly, nano tmp slash 3.txt. Here I am using relative path without any slashes. Or I am actually able to use such syntax tilde and here will be slash. It means that I am accessing specific uh, file inside of the home directory of this user. Let's press enter and here add the hello. Save changes. Yes, enter. And now let's read contents of this file tmp3.txt. And I see those contents here. That's how we have successfully changed ownership for entire directory and all inner files and directories. Great, that's all for this lecture and now you understand how to change ownership for specific file, files or directories. Next, let's talk about permissions and I'll explain you how to modify permissions. And I'll actually demonstrate you first how to create executable script in Linux and we will create very basic simple script that will simply print hello world to the terminal. I'll see you in the next lecture guys. Bye bye.